Um, this is from Delicia. I, I hope I said your name right. I'm not real good with name pronunciations. She says, hi, I was wondering if there was a book story you had a more challenge to complete, or is there one currently in your mind that hasn't been written yet? Uh, definitely a lot in my mind that haven't been written yet. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I think um, I'm trying to think of which one might have been my most difficult. It, it, there's been some that have been difficult, more not because of the story. I've never had issues with writing the story as being difficult. It's finding the time. Um, you know, we had some issues with my daughter-in-law was very ill over Christmas, and so we were um, dealing with that. It was, you know, very frightening situation. And so, you know, it's it's the frustration of having to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop when, you know, you, you're, you're in the middle of writing. I think one of the, the biggest challenges is, is, like right now, I have a dozen stories in progress, and, and I can name all of them, but I have a dozen stories right now that are somewhere in progress. And it's just like that, okay, I've reached my max. Let me go ahead and finish them because I want to know what happens. And then I can let new stories come out. So I think that that was um, it. The, the biggest challenge for me is always the fear. Um, are other people going to see the story the way I do? Um, is somebody going to tell me my baby is ugly? <laughs> And I think, you know, each story is is like your child. It's a piece of you. It's a piece of your, your soul, of who you are. You, you don't do anything halfway. I don't do anything halfway. I never have. It's always been all or nothing. And, um, you know, when somebody um, called Riley trailer trash, that hurt. That hurt. Um, so I brought that up in Tina's story. <laughs> <laughs> that she wasn't trailer trash. Um, but, you know, it, it's I, I try not to read the negative comments because, like I said at the very beginning, I do tend to take things personally. And um, it, it's like anything that you do. When you work and work and work and you're doing the very best you can and then your boss comes in and says, what have you been doing all day? It doesn't look like you did anything. Or you scrub the house and it's spotless and then – you know, everybody comes in and they trash it and they don't even care that you've worked so hard at it. And so I think that's that's one of the things that I'm having to learn to, to say, am I happy with the story? And if I am, then then that's the one I have to please is myself and my characters. <laughs>